Why didn't I look here first? And more to the point, why must I come fetch you for every little thing? Ugh, you do know this is the day the Lords of Isselbright are visiting? You are simply the laziest... Never mind. The Lords are already here and waiting to be served. And for goodness sake, don't forget to gather your things from your chest before you come to table. I'll do it. Do it. I'll go wherever I'm needed. Should I have brought a flask with me? I thought that's what the servants were for.
Of course. On my way. Hello, didn't Berlin give you your instructions? Hello, at last. Ugh, don't go twisting an ankle in all your hurry. You take care of the drinks. Lord Wolcraft and Lady Larenthal prefer wine. Lord Joran would like ale. Lady Virilin and Lord Espen want mead. Go! That seems like the place to be. Do it. The carriage was quite stuffy, and my throat is sorely parched. Ugh, you don't expect me to drink this. Oh dear, I think not. Do you- You're here, finally. I must have a talk with Belene later. Hmm? Yes, yes, get on with it. I suppose you expect me to toss you a coin for doing your job. Hello there! Oh, the staff! 
I can't find good servants in the city. Can't find them out here. What a world. I'll go wherever I'm needed. Oh dear, I think not. Hello? Well? You know this is supposed to be served at room temperature. No, of course you don't. Shall we do business, gentlemen? Gentle ladies? Yes, let's. We are convened to discuss the situation with Deron Gould. What has been rumored and suspected for so long has finally come to pass. A council of nobles with mining interests in the town have declared themselves independent from the crown of Isilmerald. I don't like this dirty business. Sending a list of grievances to the king. Sounds more like the actions of a bunch of uppity peasant farmers than nobility. There are ways these things are done. And there are ways that kingdoms may crumble. I understand your feelings on the matter, Lady Larenthal. But Darren Gould enjoys the sympathies of many important persons here in the North, and I number myself among them. What's more, there have already been defections among the Azimerald nobility, most recently Aldnar. She speaks of your son, Lord Espen, who chose to forsake his birthright to join the rebels. Ah, yes. Thank you, Lady Larenthal, for reminding me. And I'll thank you, Lady Virilin, not to speak his name on this estate, nor in my hearing again. Oh, why, I will... <laughs> but you won't. Whatever the loyalties of uh, the young Lord of House Espen, the southern nobles have many legitimate complaints. Heavy. Some say ruinous taxation, delayed shipments thanks to the Crown's regime of inspections and checkpoints, the King's insistence that Deron Gould's military, e even the town watch, must be trained in the north. It's quite a list. Yes, it's all very sad. I'm sure they toss and turn the night away on their beds of gold bars. Taxation and bureaucracy are simply the facts of managing a prosperous nation, of keeping our enemies at arm's length. How long would their precious minds keep producing without the king's protection? Did you know I heard this rebellion was prompted in part by a belief making the rounds in Deron Gould that the king himself is cursed? <laughs> Oh my! What exceptional nonsense! <laughs> Have they been breathing the fumes of their own minds? All right, very amusing. But like Lady Varellen, I am not unsympathetic to our southern friends. Surely some of Isilbright's rules and dictums could be culled, especially if it means avoiding war. A much more costly proposition than losing a handful of coin in taxes. Wise counsel, my friend, but I fear the time for compromise is already past. The message from Deron Gould was deliberately provocative, leaving the king no way to negotiate or save face. The time has come, lords and ladies, for us to commit our forces and our purses to our rightful liege and crush Deron Gould. Or throw in with the rebels. They have the gold, they have a well-trained army, and most importantly, they control the mines. In a conflict of any significant length, having control of the source of the kingdom's metals means they must only outlast the North, rather than outright defeat her. Yuve, what is your opinion on recent developments? You're asking the errand boy? What does- Kindly do not interrupt me while sitting at my table, Lady Larenfall. Well, speak up. Indeed, there is truth in what you say. I have often found fear to be a more useful asset than respect. Ladies, my 
My lords, we are under attack. Please take shelter at once. Perhaps the cellar. You may wish to arm yourselves, my lords. They make no secret of their allegiance. They fly the banners of their own gold. Too little, I'm afraid. Their numbers are overwhelming. We were forced to fall back to the main gate, and they're already... Surely they will listen to reason, wherever they're from. They won't kill us out of hand like so many soldiers. They wouldn't dare, right? Calmly, my friends. Let's all go out to meet them. They're not bandits after all. Yes, go ahead. You have my blessing to speak on my behalf if it's of any use. You? What? Where are you going? Come with me. Make haste. Watch your step around our gate. You, and you lot, with me. The main gate has already been breached. The House of Espen is about to fall to the agents of Daryl Gould. Now, never mind that. Just follow. And you, ready your weapon. With all the time you spent training under my Master of Arms, you must be able to defend yourself by now. Seems like the place to be. Now listen to me. Listen closely. This is important. The Lady Espen was the love of my life. My one love. 
there was nothing arranged about our betrothal. Be quiet, I tell you. You never saw her yourself. Not that you'd remember, but if you had, she... Gods damn these Derongold swine. Behind me is my dressing chamber. Go fetch my swords from there. Clever words will avail us nothing but a swifter death. Now fetch my sword. you at last, father. Didn't figure you would try and hide from your fate. To be betrayed by my own son. Who wouldn't hide from such a terrible end? I've learned a few things, you see. Things your priests and men-at-arms could never teach. I have gained a new perspective. Seen the truth of this world. So, you were not even paid in coin to turn traitor against your own house. Pretty words. Kill me if you wish, but I promise it will avail you nothing. Every man pays for his sins, my son, and the price of a sin such as this, well. Enough of your piety! It sickens me. But your last decision, at least, is the correct one. Hold still, father. Don't worry, my child. Your hardships are over for today. Get up, lazy boy. It's time to go to bed. What? Does this look like Rothgar's realm to you? You're in my hut. But no more questions for tonight. There's a cot over there. You should try to get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow will be a very, very long day. Wake up, lazy. Always sleeping, this one. Must have been raised by Dream Wraiths. Now, how about you make yourself useful and weed the garden? Take a look at this list. Once you've read it, let me know, please. Do it. you gather what we need without hurting yourself too much. Here, put these on. 